hello oh my gosh i am so excited for this video and i'm so excited even though you're not physically in front of me right now i'm so excited just to be able to tell someone or something about this because i've been trying to keep this a secret it's only been like two weeks but i've been trying really hard and um i feel like i'm at breaking point technically you're gonna be the first to find out but also you're gonna be the last to find out so Thank you for being my sounding board. Welcome to my Friendsmas video. Currently, right now, it is the 11th of November and two weeks from today, hopefully it's gonna be a beautiful sun shining day like it is today and all of the girls are coming over and we are gonna have a little Friendsmas. They just think they're coming over and we're doing Secret Santa and having a cheese board and that's it. But what they don't know is I'm putting on like a whole event and I'm so excited. I dreamt this plan up a couple weeks ago and I genuinely could not get to sleep that night because I was so excited thinking about it. Allow me to give you the little rundown. So as you know, I live with my parents and we have like, this is like our family room, which is where the TV is, it's where we spend like 90% of our time in here. But we also have another lounge, which doubles as like a hallway, it's kind of like a weird space, we don't use it at all really. <laughs> I'm going to be taking that space over for the purpose of this little event that I'm having with the gals. And these are the girls that I lived with last year flatting. Minus Danny because she lives at Disneyland and plus Tejal because we've kind of adopted her into the friend group. <laughs> that made it sound so clicky guys, I promise you it's not. I still have all of the furniture from the flat in storage in my parents' attic. So I am going to go into the attic and retrieve the dining table which is in pieces and the entertainment stand which is in pieces. I'm going to take some of the stuff out of my parents lounge and substitute it with stuff from the flat and kind of recreate our flat lounge dining area in my parents lounge. I'm so excited. In my head I kind of have a plan. I'm hoping it's going to like be executed as I'm hoping it will be. Since it's Christmas I'm going to put up the Christmas tree that we had at the flat which is so cute. We went and decorated it with like pink and gold decorations because it was a girl's flat and we could do that. For entertainment I'm thinking, well I'm hoping if I can find somewhere that has it in stock. I was hoping to get it from Kmart but that's probably going to be a little bit difficult to do paint by numbers. So it's going to be like a paint and sip kind of vibe. And we're also doing Secret Santa so I have my Secret Santa present right there which I need to wrap up in a second and I'm gonna make little Christmas cookie jars where the girls can take them away add ingredients like bake cookies I don't know if you guys have seen those before but you'll get the vibe later on I'll show you when I make them I'm trying to organize a sushi platter for lunch so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me over the next couple weeks as I get things organized while also keeping my mouth shut so that the girls don't know anything about it I need to wrap up my secret Santa present so we just did like a random drawer for this and I ended up getting Taya, which was mighty convenient. When we used to flat together, her and Morgan and I were obsessed with drinking tea, and like we still are. And we'd always get like just the cheapest tea bags we could find, so I thought it'd be nice to like spice things up. And I got her like this strainer, rose gold, very cute. And then some tea from Tea Total, loose leaf tea. And this is Grand's Berry Garden, which this is my favorite one. And she's kind of like a berry tea gal. So that is her secret Santa present and it doesn't matter that it's in the video because by the time you guys are seeing this she will already have opened it and know what it is. I went to the $2 shop this morning to get some supplies and bought some Christmas ribbon then I got some stickers for putting on presents, got some wrapping paper and got some colored card don't be alarmed there is red and green in there. I was 100% intending on uh, filming me wrapping this up but I got too distracted because I couldn't find the sellers tape. Time to write in one of these little things to say to and from but I need to write with my left hand because we Cannot have anyone suspecting anything. <laughs> this actually looks like a five-year-old wrote it. This misspelling was intentional, guys. We have got the good old cricket out, which is when you know that we're in full craft mode. I am currently making the little tags to go around the cookie jars for the girls. Cut up some red card. And then slightly smaller some green card, which is gonna like go like that. So there's like a bit of like a red border. And then I have white card, which is then gonna go on top of that. And I've got my Cricut sitting down here right now, ready to go. And it's about to use the gold vinyl to make each of the girl's name. And then I'll transfer it onto the white card and stick them all together. We have migrated into the kitchen and I have made the girls little name tags. I had to reprint Tajel's one or recut her one because I just had Tajel, there was no I. Now it says Tajel. These are the jars that I'm going to use. I need to get some isopropyl alcohol to, rem oh, to remove the sticky residue and then it will have their name tag. I'm going to punch a hole in the corner, tie the ribbon around. Ribbon's going to go around here 
and then it'll be like sitting at their place on the table which when I put them at their place on the table it's gonna be the place that we sat at the table when the table was in the flat in Hamilton. I'm trying to find a recipe for a like a cookie thing where you don't have to mix the ingredients, the dry ingredients separately. It's super easy, it's Christmassy and it's gonna fit in the jar. These jars are quite big and I think I've found a recipe that's gonna work but I don't want to try because if you don't fill it up to the top, if it gets tipped up, it loses its layers. So I found a recipe I think is gonna work and it's conveniently for Christmas M&M cookies. Instead of measuring it out with the actual ingredients because I don't wanna make cookies today, I'm gonna measure it out with rice and see if it works. And if it works, fantastic, I'll pour the rice back in. And if not, then I know that I need to find another recipe. I wanna say I think this is gonna work, but I'm not convinced. The jar is full of rice and I have like a tablespoon of rice that didn't fit. Yeah, that's a bit of a squeeze. There's a lot of air in between, so I think it's gonna I think it's gonna work. G'day guys. It is now a week later and we are a week out from Friendsmas, so this time next week we'll be sitting downstairs at the Smeg Flat dining table, doing some paintings, chatting, eating food. It's gonna be great. Anyway, I have done some shopping over the past week. A lot of it I just did this morning. So I'm gonna give you guys a little haul of what I've got so far. Firstly, I went to the $2 shop and bought us all matching Santa hats. It's kind of cute, eh? So we've got five of those. I went and got just some plain cards. I'm gonna write a little Christmas card to each of the girls. So that's what those are for. I bought three packets of M&Ms. These are for the cookie jars. Got some cheese board essentials. So got a couple of, I wasn't gonna get these, but then I figured that they'd do the job. It means I get a few different types of crackers without having to buy like a million different big packets. A couple of different types of chips. I also got cheese and dip and I've got some chocolate and then during the week I'll go into the supermarket and buy like grapes and strawberries so that they're fresh next Saturday. And during the week or end of last, no during the week, I placed an order from Kmart for our paint by numbers. It didn't really work out how I wanted it to. They have these really cute, I'll see if I can put a screenshot on the screen of it. They're really cute like a four pack of little like baby canvases and I was hoping to get those but they're sold out. It was getting to a point where I was like I either need to buy something else otherwise I'm not like if I carry on waiting for these to come back in stock, I'm actually going to miss out and we're going to have nothing to do. So I decided to opt for plan B. I got two of them. Three canvases and they're these flower ones and then it's got the paint and a few paint brushes in the back. This is like designed for one person to do so there aren't a whole heap of paint brushes. So I also bought a couple packets of just normal paint brushes. And while I was out this morning, I went into the sushi shop and ordered us a sushi platter, which I'll pick up next Saturday so we can have sushi for lunch. Honestly, I'm... I'm not taking any shortcuts with this. There's a lounge downstairs that is not going to decorate itself. What do I need to do downstairs? Let me just take you guys down there and I'll show you my vision. <laughs> Welcome to our formal lounge. We don't really use this for anything except for when we've got like special occasions, which I would consider friends most of a pretty special occasion if I'm being honest. So this room is going to be transformed into the Smeg lounge and dining area. And I'm so excited for this. So as you walk in, this rug, I'm going to swap out for the rug that we had underneath our dining table. Coffee table is going to go and then the dining table I'm going to build and put right smack bang in the middle. The Smeg couch, that's going to stay there. In the other lounge, I have the two chairs that we used to have in our lounge in Hamilton. So I'll swap these two chairs with those chairs. This I'm going to temporarily move out and I'm going to put our TV stand there and I'm going to put the TV on it and I'm going to put the Apple TV and the Sonos and stuff and set it up basically like our lounge. And also the Christmas tree is going to go over in this corner. I might just have to move the guitars. So yeah, the table's going to go here, but the problem with the table is that it's, it was a flat pack table. It was a cheap one that I got from Mocha when we moved in and it's all now deconstructed. When we deconstructed it, which actually, funny story, was a year ago today that I deconstructed all that, which is so bizarre, so wild, so I've officially been living at home for a year now, I can confirm, was really organized and I taped all of the uh, stuff, all the parts, I taped them all together. But in the moving process, they all slid around and all came apart. That within itself was not really an issue. The issue was that our dining table, our entertainment stand, our coffee table and our bookshelf are all the same like collection and so all of the pieces look pretty much identical and I also don't know where the screws are. I put them all into Ziploc bags and I labeled them and I put them somewhere really safe. Now let's go up to the attic and see what we can find. Can confirm this is something that has not 
been in the vlog before. Gosh, I'm so embarrassed. This is actually such a mess and it's all my fault. It's gonna be like, Emma, how are you so tidy? It's because I do stuff like this. Mom, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry I'm putting this on the internet. I promise I take full ownership for this. All these boxes that you see are all full of stuff from the flat. When we moved into the flat, I was a little bit delusional and I thought that by the time my flatting came to an end, I would be able to afford to buy a house. Yeah, delusional. I went ahead and bought everything basically to furnish this house from top to bottom. The only things I really didn't buy was a washing machine and a fridge. So apart from that, everything else, I just went out and I bought it. Thinking, that's fine, I'm just preparing for the future. Which, yes, I was preparing for the future. But now my future is now in uh, about 20 boxes in my parents' attic. Because um, cost of living crisis is taking place. My furniture is actually stacked in behind, underneath these suitcases. It's neatly stacked in there. Somewhere. I just need to find it. You guys are currently sitting on a windowsill and I don't know if that windowsill's ever been cleaned in the 25 years that we have had this house. One by one, we're just gonna pull this apart and hope for the best. This is dodgy as like at my feet right now. If I fall, it's all over over. <laughs> There's so much other stuff in the way, but um, this is all the furniture. What looks like a dining table? You're probably wondering, Emma, if you don't have the screws, how do you have the instructions? I don't. That's the thing. <laughs> oh man, everything is out of the attic that I think I require. I need to find the screws that are in a Ziploc bag somewhere really safe. I have a feeling that they're in this cabinet. It's not one of those. Success. Porto dining table on it. That's the name of the dining table. Look how, look how good I was at this. to see this table back in action. The amount of memories that are associated with this stunning flat pack table is just immaculate. Also, managed to build this without instructions and without messing anything up that I'm aware of. Like, she's relatively sturdy. Hello guys, it is now the next day and I kind of set the camera up a bit awkward so cutting off the top of my head, let me just fix that. I just randomly picked this seat to sit at at the table for this part of the video and I just realised that this is literally the spot that I would sit at. Yesterday I finished setting everything up and I'm so stoked with how it came together. I actually hung out in here by myself last night doing some Christmas crafts. I ended up making Christmas cards for the girls. The four girls were coming and I had four cards so there was no room for error. Also to preface, I made these on my Cricut machine. This one here is a Christmas stocking and then this is like all the cards are blank on the inside. This one just says Merry Christmas. That one didn't really come out as well but we're just going to call it rustic. This one here which is a little wreath and then it says Merry Christmas and then Merry Christmas is in vinyl which is why it's kind of shiny. And then we have this reindeer which is made of vinyl as well which is why he is kind of shiny as well. This is just like my extra little thing to give the girls Christmas cards because I am a words of affirmation girly. My love language is a words of affirmation and acts of service if you haven't already guessed. Good morning guys. Today is the day that the girls are coming over for Friendsmas. I'm just picking some flowers to put in this mini vase. Pretty much got everything set up, so I'll go through and show you guys the set up in a second. It's come together well. Last night I was gonna vlog making the cookie jars, but then the TV was playing, so you wouldn't have been able to hear me and it was just like whatever. But it ended up being an absolute <laughs> disaster. As you guys know, I measured it out with rice beforehand, so I knew that it was gonna work. I don't know what recipe I was reading when I filled it up with rice because it was not the one that I had and so when I poured it all in there was way too much stuff to fit in the jar and so then I changed the recipe again and then there wasn't enough stuff and then I took the recipe where there wasn't enough and then timed it 
we'll divide it by three times four and then it fit so i'll show you guys those in a second i'm so stoked in the end with how they turned out it took like two hours to make them which was so unnecessary it's currently 25 past nine so they'll be here in just over half an hour does that look cute or is that like a bit i think that's that'll do the job and here we have the finished setup oh my goodness got the little fireplace going on the tv i do have forest frank's lo-fi christmas album playing i just paused it so i don't get copyrighted but i was listening to his album the other day when i was setting all this up like last saturday I listened to the album just on the Saturday 16 times through and then I listened to it again probably like another five times through on the Sunday so yeah it's very good and just nice like easy listening I love lo-fi beats let me introduce you to the table setup that we have going on here so I've put the Christmas Santa hats on the corner of the seats these are the cookie jars this is actually probably one of the better looking ones so it looks like that and then it's got instructions on the back for what they do when they get home and then i've got the letters that i wrote for the girls sitting here i've got the christmas candle burning that is the night before christmas i have a whole bunch of christmas crackers these ones were kindly gifted to me by whitakers with their new chocolate a few weeks ago and so i put them aside for this very moment i've also got normal christmas crackers and then i've got glasses which these are the same glasses that we used to have at the flat and we also have them at home here so i just took them out of our cupboard mine is one with flowers i had a flower one at the flat so i knew which one was mine morgan would always drink with a straw so morgan is getting a straw in her glass christmas tree is all lit up as well for the occasion I need to find somewhere to put these flowers though. I'll put them there. Oh, turn it around so you can see the bow. Stunning. The other day, oh my goodness, I am so grateful. Nikki from Oh Sugar, who does the paint your own cookies, reached out to me. I've been gifted her cookies before, but like through other brands, so not directly from her. And I love them. They're so tasty and it's like such a fun activity to do. And she's like, hey, I'd love to send you, gift you some of my Christmas cookies if you'd like to share them on your story. And I was like, heck yeah, I love your cookies. And I was like, oh, that's perfect timing because I'm having my friends come over on Saturday for Friends Miss so we can do it together. And she's like, oh, sweet. I'll send you like, like a double pack. And I was like, thank you so much. So that is what I have here. Honestly, this will be the perfect like little Christmas day activity. All beautifully wrapped up in tissue paper. But it has like the little paint swatch we add the water and then it becomes like edible icing basically and then you paint that on candy cane snowman an elf reindeer christmas tree and a little stocking we're gonna do this at some point today okay table is fully set now and good to go i kind of said to the girls like dress kind of cute i'm wearing this green dress which i have never worn i've had it for like two years and i've never worn it and here we have it it is very short which is why i've never actually worn it well, I was going to say I never worn it out of the house, but I'm not going to be wearing it out of the house today either because we're not going anywhere. It is from Princess Polly, but as I said, I got it like two years ago, so they definitely won't have it anymore. We have my work of art. I'm just going to say it. I think this is the prettiest cheese what I've ever made, which is so convenient because what better occasion for it. I also have a big bowl of sweet chili chips because um, if there's anything to know about this meat flat, we love our sweet chili. <laughs> it's quarter past ten and no one's here yet. Girls are running fashionably late. Tatus Rage like, I'm running late. I'm so sorry. I'm like, bro, no one else is here yet. Like, <laughs> you are fine. Yeah. Do you know how long I've been wanting to paint like numbers? Yeah, yeah, I've never done it. It's 
for you and I to share, so I just do which one you want. Well, you do which one you want. No, you do which one you want. No, you. No, you. Actually, no, you. Oh, wow. What? And you put lemons on there. I didn't do this. The lady at the shop did this. Oh, I thought you made it. Nope. Don't knock it till you try it, ladies. Oh, my God. You are so cute, Tejo. Do you remember when Danny used to walk around the house with like her Which are like, which are sweet, sweet ones? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say, if that's what I don't know. Hello. <laughs>